Damn, yeah. it is I'm impressive. Cutting, Guys, welcome to the you channel. And I was just watching this from Spain. This is a massive storm. This is the storm of the century. And if you think it's an exaggeration, well, check these images out. It's called Adana. It's a kind of storm that is all over Spain, especially in the south. Just throws trucks over. Look at this. Still not impressive. Thing. Look at the, the sign, bro. Look at the water. It's oh, this is a river. This is a sidewalk. It just washes everything over. It is insane. Look at the size of those things. And people just don't know. They, they just get themselves into these dangerous situations. Look at it. Move over. Move forward. It's a horse. People evacuated. Climbing on the roofs. It is impressive. Still not impressed, take this out. Look at the water. Look at all the mud and the storm. But this is the problem, you have so much mud. What I mean by that is many of these towns, especially in, in, in mountains and so on, if it's built on, on soil r rather than solid rock, well, that's mud. When you have a lot of water, it just drags everything. It may even dig through the below, beneath the foundation of buildings, and it just collapses everything. You see? Mountain towns, this is all mud. They're all washed away. And you're left with a slab underneath. The, the, the slab on top, it's underneath that it washed everything. You see all of the mud? So now it wipes X amount of blocks. People on this side, oh no, we, we were just fine. Well, not next time. Next time it's all of this mass of land that gets washed away and the houses that were built there, they will just fall as well. This is just the nature of, of, of the terrain that you're looking at here. You see how it washed everything and the, and the street just collapses. And yeah, some buildings, this is Spain, this is Europe. Some buildings here have been standing for thousands of years, as in multiple thousands of years. There's houses that have been built in caves, right on the outside of the cave. They built a small house and then hundreds of years went by. And then you have a very nice modern looking house that they go, yeah, we have a cave here with fucking paintings that are 5,000 years old. No shit, this is the kind of thing that is fairly common in these places. So these are structures that may have survived for thousands of years, but others will not survive 10 or 50. You just don't know. Depends on the terrain. Everything full of mud. Mud slides. And the water, of course, right? See how it just drags everything, washes everything away. Look at this thing. It is insane. But again, between those peaks, between the two mountains, you have the valley here, and it's just, just flooded. This is probably just a river. This is probably the, the, the way the, the water they were expecting. It just blew on the sides over. And just, look at this thing. Crazy. Now, proper infrastructure does help quite a bit, as you see. But, man, it is tough. Look at all of the cars. So, guys, just Mother Nature getting pissed and doing its thing. And we are just... <laughs> this is... This is the world. This is the geography. Whenever you see like, oh, mountain peaks and erosion and water, look at the, well, it's this. The world is constantly changing. This is just the nature of the thing. 
and whenever uh, years go by, hundreds, thousands of years go by, and see, oh yeah, this is water erosion. Well, this is water erosion. This is water doing what water does in its natural habitat. The thing is that we just build things on top and the water just doesn't care much. So you have to be very careful. Now, in terms of preparedness, what is it that you're looking at here? Well, you need to be smart. You need to be clever as of, okay, historically speaking, when was the last time this place got flawed? I mean, just look at it. I'm between two, I'm in a valley and there's a little stream of water. Well, that stream could get very big, could be, get gigantic. If you're in high ground, and if you're in an area that is not um, prone to this kind of situations, well, you may get by a thousand years and not have an incident like this at all. Now, other places, not so much. You're more vulnerable. You, If you do your homework, which is the kind of thing I always talk about. Uh, guys, by the way, if you want to get better prepared, the channel with a ton of information in my books, Surviving the Economic Collapse, as well as Three Survival Skills, these are the things I keep always recommending. Do your research. Learn what you're likely to deal with in that location. Oh, I'm in Florida. Okay, all right. So you have storms. You have hurricanes. You have the water of the damn Caribbean just coming over and washing things over. Well, yes, that's why they build houses with uh, 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 <laughs> uh, a clear ground floor because that always gets flooded. All right, maybe I want to deal with that. Maybe I don't. So I don't even live there. Personally, I wouldn't, but you know, everyone does their own thing. Just know what you're dealing with. And if you happen to be in this place, understand that there may get a moment in which you get a phone call, maybe an alert on your phone that says, you have to evacuate now. It is right now. It is, not, it is right this very moment. You evacuate that very moment because if not, you just get taken over. It is, it is very serious what's been going on. You have a lot of people that are still uh, unaccounted for, and it's likely going to go up a lot, that number. But man, it is, it is no joke. Very serious stuff. Um, prepare. Keep in mind that it's just material belongings. It doesn't matter. It's just stuff. I know that some people, I mean, all of us, nothing comes cheap to any of us, but it is still stuff. No matter how much it costs to get it, it is still just stuff. Even this it's just stuff. And you're not going to stop the water by just holding the door. So that it's pointless at all, e even in itself. So guys, that's going to be all for now. Stay prepared. See you next time.